Hello and welcome to the show. We started this week's fail race episode with an adoptable Ford and a lovely AI graveyard. In fact, this one on Horizon 3 is quite impressive by the sheer number of frozen driver tar cars. It's not just general civilian traffic. There's a huge from Bentley concept cars, Ferraris, Maseratis and all sorts. All sorts are in there. Uh, I'm also guessing a tram at some point crashed through a lot of crash vehicles there because everything is nice placed out of the way there. Shame we didn't see the, the tram crash, but never mind. Uh, Duster Danny on Horizon 3 spotted a, a fellow opponent stuck, decided to try and be helpful, push the Lancia clear of the uh, boxes. In doing so, though, he uh, managed to get his Lexus stuck on the same. Yeah, not not the, the best of recovery strategies, that one. Not the only one, though. Uh, Epic Short MC having issues with lots of stratuses, as uh, this one, a jump that has been done many times before if you played Flag Rush games around the uh, construction site. Don't know why the Lazio decided to ignore the rules of physics, but... Uh, there we have it. Crispy-eyed hobo on the crew is trying to get away from the police. And you know how the police are in video games. Jumps his way onto a bridge, narrowly avoiding something on the way out. Both police cars have massive issues across the train track. One further back as well does. I don't <laughs> it's a nasty, nasty train track indeed down there. Uh, Regal 7 on the crew is trying to jump over a fence. Turns out that's quite difficult in the hot rod. We have an impressive gravity-defying physics act going on now from the hot rod as it's uh, kind of pivoting around rather peculiarly <laughs> on the fence. It's maybe might eventually fall over the way that it wants to go. He does actually finally get the car off. There's sudden acceleration as it bounces and then gets reset. All his hard work came to nothing. On to GTA 5 with Carfan 93 and once more the uh, police are trying some different tactics. So the Dominator trying to trick the police car doesn't get it work. The police car forces him up across on a barrier and now we've got some piggybacking going on. It's a, an interesting technique, although when the police car stops, the player's car is able to reverse off. Uh, Mantis on GTA 5 is uh, minding his own business, driving around, though, in a notoriously rolly vehicle. And sure enough, a little bit too much speed and a slight corner cut would see the Rumpo go for a tumble. But it's even worse than that, as <laughs> it gets caught by a tree. Yes, it's perhaps not quite as impressive as the Whomping Willow, however, it can still capture cars if a Rumpo Custom should happen to tumble towards it. Sticking with GTA 5, and uh, we are leaving Los Santos Customs with a freshly sorted out bike. It turns out this bike has been uh, learning a few tricks from the Ruiner 2000. I think the player might press the wrong button as they're messing about with weapons, dives off the bike, that then manages to jump perfectly over a hedge. GTG Ultratech is uh, waiting to be picked up by the uh, Cargo Bob. Unfortunately, the Cargo Bob is having some issues here in trying to uh, pick up the uh, Valira. Meanwhile, we're trying to shoot down the uh, helicopter. And, well, not, not a great idea to shoot at your own uh, particular vehicle. Uh, the Cargo Bob manages to uh, back into... I don't know if it was intended. I suspect not. A happy coincidence that uh, the roll had explode uh, or went on there. But I guess if it works, it works. Uh, Fran Stuff 6 on Need for Speed Pro Street has found an interesting way of uh, trolling the AIs. I'll be honest, I'm annoyed I never thought of this when playing this game mode. You see, you get ahead of them in a wheelie race, you park your car, and as they're wheelieing, you cause them to do a massive, massive flip. Yeah, I remember many hours of frustration with the uh, the wheelie competitions. This looks like a brilliant way of alleviating said frustration because it works on just about everything if you've got a good enough car to uh, get off the line quickest. Of course, they're busy messing about with wheelies. You put on the brakes and then we launch the BMW this time and total the car. If you want to win the event, you'll still have to do a good uh, good sort of wheelie. And you've got to try not total your own car as well. That's an interesting dance. You've got to do a good run on your final one. But yeah, impressive, impressive fun. Rare Gliscor 1 on Rocket League has just seen his team concede a goal. Now, there is always a big melee for the ball at the start of a round. In this one, we managed to find ourselves outside the arena. It's, I'm not quite sure what hit him to cause his car to get flung. First of all, into the blue, well, to the blue side of the pitch, let alone to manage to find its way completely out of the arena because, yeah, that's... Um, 
not not where your car is supposed to be. I played a fair bit of Rocket League. Don't tend to see vehicles uh, outside of the arena. Uh, Dam of 313 on Euro Truck Simulator 2 is uh, minding his own business. Pulled up to a junction in one of the uh, the multiplayer mods as he's waiting for the lights to go green. Someone in an out of control car comes flying past, and uh, thanks to the assistance of a grass bank and uh, a slight bit of a traffic light. The Skoda, I think it's a Skoda, is upside down. Well done. Just, just, just well done. It is a very foul race approved junction. Uh, that Mudkip on Stock Car Extreme has an AI ahead of him, not accelerate as you would initially expect. Massive, massive wheelie. But as he's busy trying to get his car back under control, doesn't realise quite how bumpy the grass is here. And we go for a spin and a rest upside down with your head well and truly stuck through the floor. Uh, the game will eventually reset the uh, car. Yeah, you don't want a vehicle suddenly going incredibly slowly in acceleration zone. It's a massive wheelie as well for the uh, Formula One car here. The, w the worst though, still very much to come, is that sort of little dirt road that's horrendously horrendously vicious with the bump that launches the car and uh, yeah that is uh, that is game over and finally we have timid nine tails on watchdogs 2 who is just generally messing around with the populace as you do but keep an eye on the left hand side of the screen uh, doesn't quite realize it just yet about the weirdness that is going yeah that is going on over there <laughs> tram and a car have managed to get stuck together and for whatever reason the tram is sort of just continuing to roll over. I don't know what's causing the tram to, to twist in this particular manner. Uh, now it's got a little bit caught up by the electrical connection, I guess, at the top. The car is not in the best of shapes. The player tries to get the car to do some moving with the remote control, but it doesn't... I mean, it spins the wheels, but that's about all that it can, it can do. I, I don't know quite... A, <laughs> I would love to have seen how the tram... How the tram got itself into such a state, but... Uh, Still an interesting, uh, an interesting event to uh, to have ca had captured. Sorry, that though is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description at the very top of the page. Is the Fowl Race clip submission, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.